okay now in this video we are going to enable google analytics for our whmcs so when somebody signs up we know where they are coming from so we can keep retargeting the marketing area where we have the most successful return of investment so to speak so let's go ahead and enable google analytics to do that we go to setup on WHMCS and go to add-on modules here click there so here it's already a built-in function of Google Analytics here so we can just go ahead and activate it click the activate uh, green button here there we go so it has been activated now we want to configure it click the configure button on the far right side and we simply need to put in our tracking code and tracking domain and choose the admin role groups to permit access to this module well just the administrator so now we're gonna set up a new google analytics um, account so just go ahead and go to google analytics and sign up for a for a new account if you don't already have one now i already have two websites tracked uh, right now I want to add um, additional one for club coder so I'm gonna click the admin here on the top right and here click on under the account and create new account okay so now we just need to define which um, version we want to use either universal or classic so as I see that the universal beta analytics has more features, it has custom dim dimension metrics, online, offline data sync, multi-platform tracking. So if you want to track from mobile devices, we can track those as well and other features. So I'm going to keep the universal analytics. So I'm going to scroll down now. I'm going to name this club coder. Club coder. The website name let's make it the same it's going to be https clubcoder.com as we have already set up it it'll be always using the secure url industry category that'll be internet and telecom probably let's just choose those reporting time zone pacific time is good for me Data sharing sh uh, settings with other Google products only, anonymously with Google and others, account specialist. Uh, sure, I'm going to just keep the default settings there and get tracking ID, which is what we want. To use Google Analytics, you must first accept. Okay, I'm in Canada. So, Canada. There we go. Accept. There we go. So we have a tracking code, but we won't be using this script. We just need the tracking ID to put on WHMCS. I'm going to copy that, put it here. And tracking domain clubcoder.com, full administrator, and save the changes. That's it so it's now it's configured and saved so now we have um, a new account which is club coder so if i go back to my admin and go to clubcoder.com let me go to home probably and go here club coder it's all there and we have real time as well so if i browse here club coder dot com we can see that it's gonna pick up my visit wait a few seconds it's pretty awesome these things so let me just click on the overview here ah there we go so right now we have one visitor which is myself and it's here pretty cool sorry yep that's where I am so 
is working properly so to check that just go to your real-time dashboard and click overview and it's picking up if it's picking up your um, visit which I'm all opening it so if I for example go to gift card it'll know that I'm browsing the gift card section here active pages so wait a few seconds and it'll pick up the changes I just made oh surfer not responding please wait let's just click again see active page gift card pretty cool huh so that's it pretty simple so you can just set it up get the Google Analytics code put it there put your domain there as well and you're good to go I'll see you in the next video